Jeremy Wolf, followed by Jenny Campbell. Uh, hello, City Council. Mr. Mayor, uh, I'm speaking on behalf of Save Open Space. May I request two extra minutes? So a total of five as opposed to three. Why don't you go ahead and get started? My client, Save Open Space, Santa Monica Mountains, has shared with me a string of emails regarding the City of Agora Hill's refusal to provide documents requested by SOS to a legally sufficient public records act request. It is my understanding that records requested are simply the data obtained by RINCON in conducting standard scientific testing of water and soil gases. The result of these tests are calibrated through the use of standard scientific equipment and methodology. Specifically, SOS is seeking the remainder of RECOM's test results on the water borne samples and all soil and gas test results. The simple data that was collected through the scientific testing is not subject to being changed. The tests in question have occurred and have been completed, and the results of these tests are in the possession of the city and are available due to the contractual agreement with the consultant. As such, they do are constituent public records and do not fall within any of the expectations you cited to Mrs. Weisborough. Therefore, I can only assume that you misunderstood the nature of SOS request. It is my understanding that the Public Records Act request did not seek to obtain any opinions, evidence, or any conclusions regarding the impacts of these results on any environmental issues which will be presented in the draft EIR. The interpretation of the data is being sought at this time. Consequently, the reliance on the National Wildlife Federation versus U.S. Forest Service is misplaced. As explained in that case, the burden is on the city to show the sharing the requested information with the public would expose the decision-making process itself to public scrutiny by revealing the agency's evaluation and analysis of the facts. Because SOS is simply seeking disclosure of the test results and not seeking any information that could in any way reveal how the city may choose to evaluate this data for purpose of the DEIR, the city cannot withhold this information. Moreover, you have not cited that there are no provisions which I am aware in the Public Records Act enabling the city to delay turning over this information until the time that the DEIR is made available to the public. The time parameters set forth in the government code do not contain any such explanation. It is in the interest of enabling the planning commissioners and the city council members to have as much information as possible before them and decide whether or not this project should be approved. Surely SOS requests that a small amount of factual material should be provided at this time. Please promptly provide Ms. White's book with the remainder of the factual data which you request in accordance to the city. If you have any additional grounds for denial of this request, please feel free to call or email Ms. Weisbrock. We appreciate your assistance in this matter. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Now I'm going to hand these out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you.